Alrighty, um, so I'm going to go over some two newsworthy things that have come out about Six Flags over the last couple days. So Outlaw at Six Flags Great Escape seems to have been, I'm going to use the words temporary. Um, it's been temporarily cancelled or on hold. Uh, it looks like the township, the people that live around the park have uh, kind of protested the uh, construction and build of Outlaw as it's too tall of a structure and can be seen from the other side of the lake. That's my understanding of the situation. As always, if I get anything wrong, especially right now, I am, I've got the cold and flu right now, and I'm on strong medicine, and I do not feel well, if you can hear it in my voice. Um, but I wanted to get this video out, because I have some strong opinions and uh, some good news about Six Flags just after this news. But it seems that the town has uh, temporarily uh, paused and stopped the ride construction of Outlaw. I'm not sure if they're going to move forward. It seems like Six Flags has come out and said they have some homework to do about the laws in the area. So that does look like bad news. It does look like Outlaw may not be built at all. Um, so quite interesting uh, to see what happens moving forward. I never like it when there's these laws in these areas of theme parks um, just because it, it, it prevents the parks from expanding and the parks are great for the economy. They provide jobs um, their revenue and they boost the economy locally with other businesses surrounding the park. So it just never makes sense when, you know, a town city or township is against a theme park and prevents them from building. I love how Canada's Wonderland has it. You know, they tell the, the people moving in around the park, the park was here first. So if the park wants to build something, they'll be able to build it. But in greater news, uh, Michael Spanos has been named the new CEO of Six Flags Entertainment, and he will be starting November 18th, 2019, so very shortly, um, and this is really good news. For those of you that understand or have watched my videos previously, I've mentioned how Six Flags is in shambles. They've been searching for a CEO for a really long time. The company has, you know, had to bring back their old time CEO to come help save the company during a tough time, and he did so, and in that time he was back, he's been looking for a new CEO. It's definitely taken a lot longer than it was supposed to, but the good news is they found one, um, and it is the previous Pepsi co-CEO um, from the Asia-Africa Pacific Division, and this is good news because we all know that Six Flags is trying um, and expanding out into the Asian market, and this guy comes with some ties to Asia, which could help the company, and in the announcement of Michael Spanos taking over Six Flags as CEO, um, he did mention that he was going to further uh, advance Six Flags into the Asia market. And this is perfect. They couldn't have picked a better person if that is their goal um, to move forward into the Asia market as a company. Again, I'm so sorry for those. This might this video might be a little hard for people to listen to just because I'm struggling with the cold and flu. But again, it's the only time for me to get the video out. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a brilliant choice. Like, I'm super excited for the future of Six Flags. He's 55 years old. He was a Marine before he worked for Pepsi as well, served in the Marine Corps. So super, I mean, he's just a well-rounded dude by the sounds of it. Super excited about what he's going to have to offer. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Six Flags does outside of America. Now, this does raise questions like, does this mean Six Flags is going to solely focus on Asia and kind of leave its American parks with smaller additions like they have been doing recently with those cheap additions um, compared to like, you know, how Cedar Fair does things where they build like a $30 million coaster and then a few other parks get some water park additions or a flat ride here and there. Six Flags is kind of like they, they used to be a little bit better. They're heading down the same direction almost where one park gets one really cool cheap coaster now. You can't argue those RMCs are still very cheap, you know, $12 million price tag. And then the other parks get these smaller additions, additions that you see at fairgrounds and circuses, I, like especially here in Canada, we had a, a fair that just came to town and half the additions that were announced for Six Flags this year for 2020 were at the fair. Um, so I find that interesting, the direction Six Flags is going down. You can argue Six Flags versus Cedar Fair all you want. Um, but nonetheless, I'm super excited to see what this guy has to offer. Um, he worked for PepsiCo during a time where the stock market was just going up for Pepsi. Um, he drove a $1 billion increase in sales in the Asian market. Um, so I would love to see what he's, um, going to do for Six Flags. It really seems like Six Flags sought him out because he has 
a proven track record of being able to grow a company and business or product. So this is just all around fantastic news for Six Flags, and I'm super excited. I wish I could have gone more into detail. Today just wasn't the day for me to make like a super in-depth video business-wise about um, Michael Spanos. But on the screen, I provided the statement and all about him. Um, uh, so if you want, read the screen. There's lots of news. Google it. He's honestly a well-rounded dude, and I'm super excited about what he's going to do for Six Flags. So hopefully you enjoyed this really quick, small in-depth analysis of Michael Spanos taking over Six Flags as CEO. Again, it is really good news. I'm not trying to crap on Six Flags at all. I honestly have really high hopes for Six Flags. Now, this seems like the perfect guy they could have chosen. Um, and who knows? It looks like he has roots in Asia and other uh, areas outside of North America. So this is great for a company that's trying to expand out into those other continents and uh, countries. So greatly looking forward to that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.